Bye, Maria. It's Frau Schmidt. I'm getting ready for bed. The captain is going to Vienna tomorrow, and I have this material he ordered for a new dress for you. Oh, how nice of him. Even before it's made, it's the prettiest dress I've ever had. I hope he likes it, because I wish to ask him for more material. More? Oh, not for me. For the children. For play clothes. The Von Trapp children never play. The captain doesn't like them to get dirty. But they're children. They have to climb trees, roll in the grass, think of all the rocks and caves. The captain says the best exercise is marching. The children will get you to march. I hope you find your room comfortable. Yes, thank you. There will be new curtains for the window and alcove. They will be hung tomorrow. But these curtains are fine. There will be new curtains. How long will the captain be away? Oh, I don't know. Of course he has to come home every time he hires a new governess. Sometimes I think the children get rid of their old governess just to see their father again. He must want to see them, too. Since his wife died, they remind him too much of her. Oh, you can put that away. You won't be needing it here. Why not? The captain won't have music. He won't have music? And there used to be wonderful evenings where his wife would sing and he would play the violin or guitar. But he's all shuffled out of his life now. So that's why he's the way, that's why he's the way he is. But not to have music, that's wrong for him and wrong for the children, too. Well, it may be right again before soon. He may marry again before summer is over. Oh, that would be wonderful. The children would have a mother again. I think it's going to rain. You'd better shut your window. Dear God, I now know why you have sent me here on a mission. I must help these children to love their new mother and help the, her to love them so that she will never want them to leave her. And I pray that this will become a happy family in thy sight. God bless the keep captain. God bless Liesel, Friedrich, Louisa, Brigitte, Marta, and little Gretel. And, oh yes, I forgot the other boy. What's his name? Well, God bless what's his name. God bless Mother Abbess and Sister Margareta and everybody at Nambre Abbey. And now, dear God, about Liesel. Help her to know that I am her friend and help her to tell me what she's up to. Are you going to tell on me? Help me to be understanding so that I may guide her footsteps in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. I was out taking a walk and somebody locked the doors earlier than usual, so when I saw your window open, you're not going to tell Father, are you? Did you climb that trellis to get up here? Well, that's how we always got into this room to play tricks on the governess. Louisa can climb it with a toad in her hand. Liesel, were you out walking all by yourself? You know, if we wash this dress out tonight, Nobody would notice it tomorrow. Then, all this can be just between you and me. I have a spare gown in my bathroom, and when you're done changing, we can have a talk. I told you today I didn't need a governess. Well, maybe I do. Oh, Gretel, it's you. You're not frightened, are you? All we have to do is wait for others. They're asleep. They're not scared. All of you, up on the bed. <laughs> now, all we have to do is wait for the boys. We won't see them. Boys are brave. You boys aren't frightened, too, are you? No, we just wanted to be sure you weren't. Was this your idea, Friedrich? No, it was Kurt's. That's it, Kurt. That's the one I left out. God bless Kurt. Well, the lightning says something to the thunder, and the thunder answers it back. I wish it wouldn't answer so loud. Maybe if we all sing loud enough, we won't hear the storm. High on the hill was a lonely goat herd, lady yoda, lady yoda, lady yoda, lady yoda, Loud was the voice of the lonely goat herd, lady yoda, 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 lady
幸せ。